Better Angels by Helen Ormi Darval. Exterior, Los Angeles, day. A panorama of the Hollywood Hills. Mansions with sweeping lawns, swimming pools, tennis courts. A convertible zipping around the curves of Mulholland Drive. Canine co-pilot luxuriating in the windstream. The Hollywood sign, posing beyond a phalanx of palm trees. Eastward, the glistening cluster of downtown high-rises. In shadows below, the traffic-clogged trenches of the harbor freeway, retreating toward the gray-brown suburban sprawl. Drifting across the screen, the dark side sometimes overcomes the better angels of our nature. Abraham Lincoln Exterior, roadside sign, day, Peeling, a smiling sun, sunshine, California welcomes you. Exterior, downtown sunshine, day. A dusty, down-at-heels town that spent too many years baking in the Southern California sun. A skinny, stray dog wanders the cracked sidewalk, sniffs an invisible trail toward a crumpled fast food wrapper, scoots away as a shadow looms. A formless figure wearing dark jeans, jacket, and backpack slouches by, trailing tinny, raucous rock via corded earbuds. Exterior, residential street, day. The figure passes an untidy property. Wazinski, barely visible on the old, off-kilter mailbox. Turns toward a nondescript house next door, beyond a barren yard. In the driveway, an SUV sporting iridescent Tiffany Holden beauty icon logos. The figure enters the house. Where in God's name? Get those things out of your ears! Sudden silence. A low voice. Indecipherable. Then... You weren't here to take care of baby? Get out of my sight! A distant door slams. Interior. Home. Hallway. Day. Crystal. 32. A Tiffany Holden beauty icon in the flesh. Her bright, determinately coordinated outfit and makeup outdone by red-faced frustration as she yells at a closed door. I am through trusting you with a damn thing. Don't worry about us, Olivia. We'll be gone early. She storms off down the hall. Interior. Home. Olivia's bedroom. Day. An ordinary room. Little care or interest shown for anything except the many books. The backpack drops to the floor. Olivia slumps onto her bed, the face of a girl not given to teenage flights of fancy, just 15 years of rejection and recriminations. Interior, home, garage, day. Crystal sorts boxes marked Tiffany Holden, carries one to the SUV in the driveway beyond the open door. She returns. Olivia leans in the interior doorway to the house. If you go on Saturday, I could go with you. We'd have the weekend. Appointments are set. Two days. Three, if I'm lucky. They call it a home business because people stay home, sell online. Tiffany Holden is not ordinary people. How many times do I have to tell you? This is what I do. I represent the company in person 100%. That's what makes us special. Besides, you refuse to even try. Just take a look in the mirror. Never mind. I know, it's just you and baby, like always. Forget it. She exits into the house. Crystal sighs, gets back to work. Exterior, home, backyard, day. Late afternoon sunlight glints through foliage. Way up, in a sturdy fork of the tall tree, Olivia sways in a world of her own, earbuds in place, reading a dystopian novel. What are you looking at? Interior, home, Olivia's bedroom, day. Early morning, Olivia dresses for school, looks out the window as Crystal, in all her technicolor glory, gets behind the wheel of the SUV, backs down the driveway, and is gone. Olivia turns, catches sight of herself in the mirror. Interior, home, living room, day. Olivia exits the kitchen, eating on the run. She pulls on her backpack, passing an unoccupied baby's playpen en route to the front door. Plugs in her earbuds. A rock opus roars. Exterior, Sunshine High School, day. Students arrive, their various streams of music clashing, 
cacophony building as they converge. A clique of stylish girls roll their eyes, turn away as Olivia passes, still plugged into her music. Interior, Sunshine High School, hallway, day. Clatter and clang as students prepare for class. Olivia pockets her cell phone and earbuds, stows her backpack in her locker, stands back to close the door.